global farm machinery giants, Massey Ferguson, are celebrating their 60th diamond anniversary this year. Based in the heart of Scotland, long-established Massey Ferguson dealer Hamilton Brothers have marked the occasion by running a reduced labour rate on vintage tractor restorations with their resident expert and time-served mechanic, Andy Reid. With over 50 years' experience working at the dealership, Andy's services have been in high demand and he has completed four tractor restorations. The offer has now come to an end, but Andy is still fully booked until 2019. Officially 20, but I worked with my brother, worked in Hamilton Brothers, and I worked with him before I actually started here, so that's what really got me in here with working with my brother John. Hamilton Brothers was established in 1933 by Jimmy Hamilton as a small agricultural dealership in Paisley in the outskirts of Glasgow. Today, the company operates as part of the Hamilton Ross Group, with six depots across central Scotland, but it still remains a family business with Jimmy's nephew, Eric Gardiner, as managing director. In 1958, the Massey Ferguson brand name was coined following the merger of machinery companies Massey Harris of Canada and Harry Ferguson of the United Kingdom in 1953. The first Massey Ferguson branded tractor, the MF35, was launched in December 1957. In 1964, a 20-year-old Andy Reid flew the nest and moved from his home in Southend to Paisley to work for Hamilton Brothers and fulfil his ambition of becoming an agricultural engineer. I remember the first chap we worked with was Huey McLean from Tarbert. We two had worked in a four-songer 35. That was a, it was a massive one. It was the, First 35 was a Ferguson 30, FE 35 and then when the 58 came in that was when they made it massive Ferguson and changed the colour to red. Well the first job was that one with Dexter was Huey McLean and he was actually spraying it. It was, I can't remember why it was sprayed but, but the, the, where we took our tea was up in the corner of the workshop and all the cups were all around there and we'd sprayed the tractor beside it. Oh, this the spray came down. So the boys weren't too happy with it. Andy's first Hamilton Brothers restoration project was to repair a Massey Ferguson 35 for Bill Gilmore of Dowan Farm. This was the particular restoration that inspired Andy's spree in celebration of Massey Ferguson's diamond anniversary. Certainly. It was first supplied by George Henderson in Edinburgh in, and registered in November 1962. I purchased it in December 94. Um, I have used it originally to when I was making square bale hay in those days when you worked an awful lot harder than we do nowadays because everything's mechanical. I, over the years it's been used from different things on the farm and now it's currently used uh, before and after the restoration of using a high crack log splitter and it's used fairly regularly. Thank you. On the email um, that I received from your circular emails that come out periodically and uh, I thought it made ideal sense. The tractor needed, it certainly needed cleaned up and refurbished. The first thing we did with Bill's tractor was removed all the wheels all the panels, bonnet, mud guards, roll bar, and then we started the refurb at the front. Stripped off all the front axle, did all the bushes, stubs, refitted that, came back, dropped the sump, fitted new gaskets in the sump, new gaskets on the rocker cover, and then we split the tractor, we moved the clutch, the engine oil seal, fitted new clutch, built it all back up, and then came to the back end, took the brake drums off, re-lined re all the brake shoes, refitted them back up, and then it was on to the mudguards. 
which were new ones. You, you they put were on new ones. They and, were and you renewed the wiring harness. They were you? they were new mount guards, renewed the wiring harness, made a new wiring harness for the rear lights up through the roll bar. When Andy phoned me up to say the, the tractor was ready, I came down obviously, and uh, I spoke to Andy and I said, no, I'm sorry, it's, it's not ready. And I think Andy was a wee bit taken aback, and he said, well, what's wrong? I said, well, it's not ready until you put that wee plaque on it with my thanks. Yes, very simply, I uh, no way could I take credit for any part in the restoration at all, and I thought it was a, a way of me saying thanks to Andrew, and to Hamilton's as well, obviously. Um, it was just my wee way of saying thank you very much for a job very, very well done. Very proud, really was. Absolutely excellent. I wouldn't say anything else because it's absolutely true, it runs like a sewing machine, it really is like a brand new tractor and all credit to Andrew for, do, for the restoration. Since repeating Bill's Massey Ferguson 35, Andy has jumped from projects to projects, repeating tractors manufactured as early as 1961 to 1967. And was another 35, which was spittled over at Hillsborough, and it was a full restoration, not as much as a kind of general one this time again, mm -hmm. front axle, complete engine was overhauled in this one. The rear wheels were off, brake drums, new steels in the back half shafts, and then they had got a complete respray as well. So I think that was it. Garris from Wilson's Auctions, he phoned me up and I decided to the service manager and myself would go down and check the tractor out. Went down, Garris was quite happy and he brought it back up for us to restore. That's the job that's just finished. Quite a few challenges with that one. Yeah. Uh, there was problems with paintwork. There was a problem with steering box with a wee bit of problem there, but other than that, it's just the usual general overhaul. The next one was David Scotch Parks over at Carter Harden. It was another full restoration. It was front axle, rocker cover gaskets, brakes half shaft oil seals and again a complete respray which is not finished yet. At home father had Ferguson and then Massey Ferguson, that's where we started with him and then when John started in Hamilton Brothers, he was working on Massey's and then when I started, that was just Massey's ever since. It's the only brand I really know. They're simple, basic tractors, well they were up till now you've got all the electronics on them now right enough, but it was always Massey I'd worked with.
do you feel inspired by Andy's tractor restorations? As Massey Ferguson authorised dealers, Hamilton Brothers stock the full range of 10 plus genuine parts, which consists of parts for the Massey Ferguson 35 through to the Massey Ferguson 6400 series tractors. By using competitively priced original 10 plus parts, you can ensure your tractor retains its quality and performance. Call your local depot to find out more today.